To stand up tall and proud, I want you to speak up clear and loud. In a world overrun with the fake, delusional, and disingenuous, he stands as a beacon of truth. He is Abuki Cabal. Listening to a Buki Cabal. What's up, fellas? Back at it again. <clears throat> Excuse me. Scrolling through the news yet again. And what do I find? It's Candace Owens attempted to go and be tested for COVID and the testing facility refused to render her service because of her efforts to spread misinformation and to dissuade the public from treatments, recommended treatments, wearing masks, and um, she was livid, apparently. She was, she just couldn't understand why, you know, these people wouldn't serve her, you know, why they wouldn't test her for COVID uh, when she's been saying that COVID was, was fake and, you know, it wasn't that bad. It's just like the flu, you know, all the, you know, the, the, the bullshit that they've been spreading for ever and um, you know I can't tell you how much it irritates me to see a black woman spreading misinformation while the black community is suffering um, tremendously due to uh, high infection rates um, among African Americans people in poor areas who uh, don't have access to care. This woman is running a YouTube channel. Um, she's on anybody who will have her on Fox news, anybody, you know, and she is out just basically in my view, um, preventing people from getting care. You know, this is no more than somebody standing in front of the, you know, uh, a hospital's door and telling them they're not, they're, they're going to, you know, uh, whoop them if they try to, you know, get by them and to get in and, and, and receive care, you know, when they're sick. You know, uh, but we, we live in a society now where, you know, there's, there's always two sides, you know, even the dumb and the uneducated have a seat at the table to discuss important issues in order to get their views out to muddy the waters so that people are unable to make decisions. Um, and, you know, I partially 
fault our education system for uh, um, uh, creating an environment where people cannot uh, distinguish between um, horseshit and real information. So we have uh, a multitude of people who are on Fox News and, you know, these these other political channels, which, you know, their entire uh, platform is to basically instill doubt in any and everything that we've ever felt like was uh, something that was trustworthy, uh, including you know, the government, hospitals, vaccines, anything. You know, these people are clowns. You know, they're morons. I can't believe any of them passed any uh, education of any significance. Uh, yet they are out here, well-dressed, uh, respected by people even, uh, and they're spreading information that amounts to cow turds. I mean, I, I can't tell you um, how pissed off this makes me that, you know, people cannot, you know, um, they, 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 they need to be protected from people like this. And I understand we live in a society where, you know, free speech and whatnot, you know, uh, but it used to be where people were smart enough to know that a guy on the corner with a sign, you know, saying that the end is nigh you know, should be ignored. And that th these people are the equivalent. So, you know, I applaud Miss Susan Lee, Susanna Lee, you know, the COVID test center owner, you know, who refused to serve Candace Owens. And let me tell you, this letter that she wrote is phenomenal. I mean, I, I, I <laughs> it brought, me, brought me so much pleasure, you know, reading this letter and, uh, you know, just partaking of the excellence uh, that she uh, exuded in um, eloquently uh, insulting this idiot of a person uh, who uh, deserved every bit of what she got. So, you know, here's a here's a Twitter, you know, uh, post that basically said that Candace was furious after getting denied uh, for COVID, COVID coronavirus testing over her misguided anti-vax claims. This was in blackenterprise.com. Okay. So Candace Owens furious after getting denied for coronavirus. Who cares? You know, me personally, I love seeing her face every time somebody does something to her. You know, um, to put her in check but let's take a look at this article that basically talks about who Susanna Lee is COVID test center owner praised for refusing to serve Candace Owens the woman who refused to serve Candace Owens with a COVID test is receiving high praise on Twitter for her email to the conservative pundit. Susanna Lee, a co-founder of Aspen Laboratories in Colorado, is making headlines today after Owens shared her email refusing the firebrand a COVID, COVID test because of her anti-vaccine vaccine views. Taking to Instagram Live, Owens read out an email written by Lee that said she would be refused a COVID test because we cannot support anyone who has proactively worked to make this pandemic worse by spreading misinformation. I told you guys there were going to be consequences. There are going to be consequences. There are going to be people, medical professionals who are going to basically just say, you know what? You don't want to be vaccinated. Then, you know, um, we're not going to 
yeah, or waste resources on someone who uh, effectively has put themselves in harm's way. You know, uh, this is is not unprecedented. You know, you know, insurance companies have, have, have taken you know steps to not cover people who didn't take proper protective uh, measures uh, that were recommended um, universally. You know, so. You know, this 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 is it's not unprecedented and, and you people better you better uh, make sure that when you you know, when you get out here and you say these things that, you know, people um, are going to be listening and people are going to, you know, they're going to take the measures that they feel are appropriate to uh, remedy your ignorance. <clears throat> Excuse me. So Newsweek has reached out to leave for comment. Owens, who vehemently opposed to receiving a COVID vaccination, then shared her email correspondence with Lee with her 2.9 million followers. In her email, Lee explained why she was refusing to serve Candace and said that it was due to her politicizing and actively dissuading people from receiving life-saving vaccinations. Hmm. Okay. She then recommended the right-wing pundit used the town's only other testing facility, a free kiosk at City Hall. We cannot support anyone who has proactively worked to make this pandemic worse by spreading misinformation, politicizing and discouraging the wearing of masks and actively dissuading people from receiving life-saving vaccinations, Lee wrote. And there's Twitter. Um, <laughs> post that Candace made and uh, let me tell you I saw it while I was going live and Candace uh, you know Candace is, is funny she is a clown and uh, she acts like a clown and it's fun to watch you guys ought to you know go go look at her and, and see how she you know runs around and plays the victim when it's appropriate for her so um, moving along here uh, Lee concluded her email by saying she and her employees worked overtime to exhaustion unpaid and underpaid over the past year and a uh, period year to ensure everyone remains safe. Hence, it would be unfair to serve Owens. Owens has shared her disgust at being refused service and labeled Lee as a rabbit activist who clearly isn't stable enough to work in health and is in is a danger to Aspen to the Aspen community. Many Twitter users disagree with Owens, however, and Lee is receiving high praise for her decision to not serve the pundit who has long persuaded her followers to, re to not to receive the vaccine. Sports commentator Keith Oberman tweeted, I believe when another private business denied service to somebody they thought was an blankety blank, this twerp at real Candace Owens said it was their right and anybody who disagreed with was a Nazi or a socialist or anti-business. Mm. Okay, there's another. While political commentator Brian Tyler Cohn said Lee's email was the best thing he ever read. <laughs> I'm gonna read the I'm gonna read the whole thing, but after I you know do these tweets, but let me tell you. Wow, she did a great job. Okay, Bishop Talbert uh, Swan said, this is how you take out trash, ladies and gentlemen. Indeed, Bishop, indeed. Just last week, Owens labeled the COVID vaccine purely evil and said it will never enter her arm. You know, my cousin says the same thing. I've been I've been working on him for, you know, last you know couple of years. And let me tell you, I mean, he's a, He's a, you know, IV fruits and vegetables kind of guy too. Um, you know, he's, you know, there's all, uh, it, 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 just the things that he says is just ridiculous. You know, he asked me a question. He says, so, uh, you know, name me one medicine that's natural. I said, penicillin. He was stomped. I don't know anything about penicillin. So you haven't done any research. You don't know anything about what you're talking about, but <laughs> you want to uh, debate people about what 
you know, you should be taking for a complex pathogen out here. It's amazing, people. It's amazing. You know, the types of people that we uh, have to go up against on YouTube and in everyday life, uh, trying to, uh, you know, educate these people and, you know, point them in the right direction. But, you know, hey, we're getting tired. We're getting truly exhausted from having to tell people things that, you know, um, it, it's just not that complicated. <clears throat> Excuse me. So just last week, Owens labeled the COVID vaccine. Okay, purely evil. I don't know who did that. Okay, before that, Owens said she is proud to not be vaccinated against COVID and added that she trusts her gut more than Anthony Fauci, the director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases. I still have not received the COVID-19 vaccine and have not demanded that any of my employees get it either. I am proud that I committed myself to standing firm against the bribery, media propaganda, coercion, celebrity peer pressure to campaign plus censorship. I made a personal decision for me and my family, Owens wrote in Facebook post in August. Anyone over the age of 12 in the United States is eligible for the vaccine and nearly 62% of the population have had at least one injection. Hmm. Okay, so let's read this. So here's the letter from Susan, Susanna Lee. <clears throat> says, I just learned of this testing request and as the owner of this business, I'm going to refuse this booking and deny service. We cannot support anyone who has proactively worked to make this pandemic worse by spreading misinformation, politicizing and discouraging the wearing of masks and actively dissuading people from receiving life-saving vaccinations. The only other local testing option is the free kiosk by City Hall. They mail their tests to Texas and have inconsistent tests, inconsistent result times. <clears throat> Do not take appointments so it's a walk in only midday weekdays in their back alley. My team and myself have worked overtime to exhaustion, unpaid and underpaid this past year, spending our own capital to ensure that our community remains protected. It will be unfair to them and to the sacrifices we have all made this year to serve you, Susanna. Susanna, I salute you. That was a damn good job. I don't know what else to say about this, but I tell you, gave me a great taste in my mouth. After reading that and watching Candace get her just due, the nerve of her to talk about propaganda. The propagandist accusing everybody else of propaganda. It's amazing, isn't it? Truly amazing. Wow. Well, it's, you know, it's been an uneventful end of the week and over the weekend. You know, it's, it's been crazy as usual. Yeah. But anytime Candace, you know, catches it, I'm a happy camper. Yeah. You are listening to Abuki Cabal, the analytical savage. I appreciate you guys hanging out. <clears throat> and um, I appreciate the support, hanging out with me when I have a chance in between, you know, working and whatnot to come and, you know, hang out, you know. Get you a beer, some tea, some wine, whatever you drink, you know, just sit down and just, you know, listen. And um, let's work this thing out mentally, you know, the right way. That's all I ask. You know, so uh, I will uh, try to be consistent. You guys hang in there with me. Uh, it's rough, though, you know, between these 12 hour shifts and whatnot. And, lay, you know, uh, personnel shortages in, in, in the, the, the medical field it's a, it's a you know it's a bit tough 
but I try to get in here and I try to, you know, do a show before I go to sleep, you know, try to wind down, but sometimes I fall asleep in the chair. So, you know, you guys just, you know, stick with me. I appreciate it. Until the next time.